Hey everybody, David here, and today I want to do a ranking video for all the MCU movies and all the MCU TV shows. Uh, I thought it would be fun since we not only had Black Widow, but we had three MCU series come out. And I feel these three series are worthy enough to compare to the movies, so I thought it would be a lot of fun to rank them all. Uh, you guys can rank down your rankings in the comment section below and let me know what you think. Um, and uh, yeah, there's 27 titles here, so I'm not going to waste no time uh, and just zip through them all. Maybe give a little quick thoughts and that's about it. So let's get started right now. With number 27, I have Ant-Man and the Wasp. Easily my least favorite MCU film, but still a pretty enjoyable movie overall. And I love the shrinking ability that the Ant-Man movies do. At number 26, I have Captain Marvel. I really enjoy the movie. It's just, uh, yeah, something has to get down there, and so Captain Marvel it is. At number 25, I have Iron Man 3. Uh, despite the fact that I like the Mandarin twist, uh, I still think it's an enjoyable movie. But yeah, I'll admit it's probably one of the weaker MCU films, uh, but still a good time. Uh, at number 24, I have Doctor Strange. I really love the visuals in Doctor Strange, uh, but the movie could have been better. I still enjoy it, but uh, I'm looking forward definitely to the sequel and seeing what kind of craziness does it bring us into this, to the next chapter of, of Doctor Strange and how it links into the overall uh, MCU. At number 23, I have the first Ant-Man movie, a really fun film, uh, but uh, yeah, not not obviously my all-time top 10 MCU films. At number 22, I have an underrated movie. Well, even though it's underrated, it's still at the bottom of my list, uh, The Incredible Hulk. I, I enjoy this movie more than most people. Uh, I will admit, though, that maybe the special effects uh, have not aged well. Uh, moving on to number 21, Black Panther. I really enjoy this movie a lot. Um, Killmonger, one of the best MCU villains. Uh, rest in peace or rest in power, uh, Chadwick Boseman. Uh, moving on to number 20, I have, this is my shot, people, uh, the original Iron Man I have at number 20. I really think it's a good movie. I think it falls uh, during the final battle a little bit, not too much. Uh, but for the most part, I think it's a great origin film. Uh, I just, uh, I think it's a little overrated sometimes. I still really love it. I think it's hilarious. I think uh, Robert Downey Jr. is great. I just feel the movie uh, gets more love than it deserves. <laughs> At number 19, I have Iron Man 2. Yes, I do like Iron Man 2 more than Iron Man 1. Just slightly more. Uh, but uh, yeah, people are going to hate me for putting the Iron Man movies uh, down here, but whatever. It's my list. Feel free to yell at me. At number 18, I have Spider-Man Homecoming. I really enjoy this movie a lot. I thought it was a great comeback for Spider-Man. Uh, might have dropped a little bit down on my list since I originally made a ranking video, but uh, I still love it. I think it's a great Spider-Man uh, homecoming into the MCU. At number 17, this is a movie that grew on me as the years went by. Captain America, the first Avenger. I really love this movie. Um, more so than ever. Uh, number 16, I have the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Maybe this will be another controversy on my list because I know lots of people love it. I love it too. It's just... I love some other movies a little bit more. At number 15, another movie that would probably cause controversy, Thor The Dark World. I know this. most people consider this one of the weakest MCU films. I think Thor The Dark World is underrated. I think it deserves more love. And uh, I think it, it goes bigger with the Thor story. Yeah, one of the weaker parts is probably Jane Foster and Thor's romantic relationship. But other than that, I th still think... Uh, I, I actually think Malekith served his purpose, and uh, I enjoyed the movie. Uh, number 14, I have the first Thor movie. Uh, yeah, because it's a great story. I think Loki is great in it, and uh, the story is great for Thor. Uh, moving to number 13, the first MCU uh, series on my list, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. What a great setup for for. Uh, 
uh, um, Sam Wilson becoming the new Captain America, and uh, obviously his partner in crime, Bucky Barnes. They kick ass together, so uh, that's why it's up here. At number 12, Avengers Age of Ultron. This is another movie I think is a little underrated. It gets a lot of heat from fans. Uh, maybe not so much nowadays, but uh, I think it doesn't get talked about enough, and I think it really is a really worthy sequel. Uh, into the MCU. Uh, moving to number 11, Black Widow. That's right, the newest film from the MCU. Craig <laughs> didn't make my top 10, but uh, it was still overall a really enjoyable film. Uh, good time, I think. At number 10, I have Loki. Loki took a lot of risks, and you have to give it a little bit of respect for that. Because of that, I think Loki did crack my top 10 uh, for that. At number nine, I have Spider-Man Far From Home. I love the Spider-Man movie. Mysterio was a villain I always thought would make an interesting cinematic villain, and I was right. I think they knocked it out of the park with him. And that teaser at the end really gets me excited for Spider-Man No Way Home. So looking forward to that. At number eight, the first MCU series that was released, WandaVision. That's right, WandaVision cracks my top ten. Also, what a great series this was, and just a taste of what the MCU TV shows could be. Uh, it really elevated the two characters of Scarlet Witch and Vision, just like Falcon and Winter Soldier and Loki did, in ways that the movies did not, because they were never the focus characters. Uh, so, moving on to number seven, I have Guardians of the Galaxy 2. This is going to be controversy, because I know a lot of people love the first Guardians, I am one of the people that thinks Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 is even funnier than the first movie, and that's why I love it more. So uh, I think James Gunn did a great job, and I, I think the emotional moments with Ego and Quill are great as well, as well as Yondu and Rocket. I think they all have great stories going on, and the sister story with Nebula and Gamora is great too. Uh, moving on to number six, I have Captain America the Winter Soldier, probably the most grounded MCU movie on this list, and a great conspiracy thriller film. Uh, so I had to put it on this list. And most people would put this one on, in their top 10 for sure. Uh, moving on to number 5, Thor Ragnarok. Probably one of the up there with Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 is one of the funniest MCU films, uh, period. Uh, Taika Waititi made this movie colorful and it was fantastic and showed a great new side of Thor that people didn't think could have been. They utilized Chris Hemsworth's uh, comedic abilities, and even Mark Ruffalo's comedic abilities were great too. Uh, moving on to number four, Captain America: Civil War. Uh, yeah, this movie was awesome. I think most people will definitely agree the airport scene is one of the big highlights of the film. The introduction of Spider-Man into the MCU. I mean, what a great movie. And the story was great, too. And how it ended with the cl the climactic battle between Iron Man and, and uh, Captain America, I think, was fantastic. But there is a lot of competition. And here are the top three. The Avengers, the original. Avengers is my number three favorite MCU movie of all time. Still a great movie to me uh, to this day. I, I Every time I go back and watch it, the nostalgia comes back and I remember how I felt when this movie was coming out when I first saw the trailer. And you see it in the trailer, the, the, the 360 turn around all the heroes. Fantastic. Loki, what a great villain that was, bringing all these heroes together. Uh, great movie. Uh, moving on, this was a tough one. In Avengers Infinity War at number two. There was a while I had this at number one, uh, but I came to terms as the years went, uh, the two years have gone by since we got these t last two movies on my list. Uh, Infinity War, though, I will say I think is a better crafted film, but let's get to number one. Number one, Avengers Endgame, uh, I feel, has the better story and the ultimate conclusion that I felt that if it if the MCU had ended with Endgame, I would have been totally satisfied with a reboot right after. I'm glad the MCU is continuing because Loki and WandaVision and Black Widow and Falcon and Winter Soldier, I think they're giving us some great 
continuing uh, of these char- these great characters' journeys. Uh, and I can't wait to see some of the newer characters that will be coming afterwards. So, Endgame, my number one uh, MCU movie of all time. And that's it, guys. That's my list right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Tell me your lists in the comment section below. Yeah, rank all of them if you want. Put in the Loki, WandaVision, and Falcon and Winter Soldier series in there too. 24 films, 27 if you add those three. Um, yeah, I think they're fair to, to, to compare. So before I log off, I want to give a shout out to my Patreon supporters. These are the people that support this channel. They are signed up to a monthly fee. There's a five dollar tier and a ten dollar tier if whichever one you want to donate to uh feel free i'm, I'm pretty sure most people will pick the five dollar tier and understandably so uh i will update the ten dollar tier one day when i figure out something uh but until then uh it's more for generosity at this point uh and i get it we're all in a tough spot right now and it's not easy uh, to donate when we're all struggling and uh, look if you can't I understand at least like the video and subscribe to this channel if you can share this video as well because sharing the video also helps getting more viewers into here and starting more discussions that's all we could really do to grow this channel to help me grow it um, because I want to get better I want to get bigger and the only way I will I'll be able to do that is if I can uh, grow this channel so that's all I can really ask so thank you guys to to the four people who are already subscribed to me uh, your names were just there so thank you very much and uh, look I'm ending this video here guys uh, I hope you can uh, like this video subscribe to my channel as I already said and until next time take care